Welcome to a weekly vlog. Whew, I'm tired, y'all. Hold on. I'm so tired. I'm mad. My y'all, I'm so mad that my mop is still behind me. If y'all watch my daily vlog or any other vlog, I promise you this mop does not just stay here. It does go in the closet. But I just happen to have it out right now because I was mopping again. I'm sorry, y'all. I just be cleaning. That's why I want my rug to come because. I just be cleaning all day. I ended up um, filming this makeup no makeup look and it was actually a Q&A so I answered some questions that you guys wanted to know about me. That video should be up by the time you guys are watching this vlog because that had, because that video actually went up Friday. But yeah, so the rest of my day I pretty much took the girls to return their laptops because they are done with fifth grade, you guys. It sounds so like, young because fifth grade is still elementary school and I feel like they've been in elementary school forever but I was seriously crying because I'm just like they're so strong they survived virtual school this was something like you know the pandemic virtual school all of its new wear masks something that we've never went through you know what I mean like we've never went through so they pushed through they made it they have good grades, you know, it's not easy going to school from home. I mean, it sounds easy, but you're cut off from your friends, society basically, you're not into like the sports or anything, especially their school, you know, other schools. I don't know, I don't know about other, I don't know about you guys, but you know, our kids school was like the last ones that um, opened up. They made sure they were the last ones to open up. So, I mean, they literally opened up two months before vacation, like summer break, so. Yeah, but they're done, you guys, they're done, and no more elementary school. And I, I was just so sad, because I love their school. I love their elementary school, I love the teachers. And, you know, they have like certain events that, you know, they're no longer a part of because, you know, they don't go there anymore. So, it was very hard, it was, it was very hard, I mean, they took it like, you know, I'm happy, me, I was. <laughs> but, um, so this weekend we have planned, um, we are going to do the living room decor. We're going to work on our dining room and then that should be it. Um, I still have to order the curtains and this console table that's coming. So those are like the two last things that we will be needing for, oh, and the credenza, and the credenza, I forgot, the dining room. If you guys watched in my daily vlog that I posted on Wednesday, which is today, I posted it today, but I am decorating our living room and I ended up going to um, Target to get the accent table. One is right here. I'm actually moving them around because um, I'm actually going to change up the, um, couch i'm going to change up our couch because i want to put the or i want to see how um i want to see how the accent tables look in the middle uh, i'm trying to get the couch to be an actual like like u shape but i can never remember how to get it like that like either one side is longer than the other so let me just like y'all gonna see me struggle to figure out how to do this couch. Hold on, let me put y'all down first. Also guys, don't be alarmed at what you might see <laughs> when I move these couches because again, we have kids, they drop stuff, Prince, we leave his toys, everything, so yeah. Well, I just made the couch even longer. I think this is how it goes. Yeah, this couch is super long. Man, this couch is long now. It's even longer. See, if I put it this way, guys, it's gonna be super wide. Super wide. <sighs> okay, guys, I moved the couches around. I'm just trying to figure out a good spot to put them because the rug comes tomorrow 
no, I'm sorry, the rug comes Friday, so I still have time to figure it out. And these couches are not connected, so, you know, I don't have to like worry about unhooking them. But I'm just trying to figure out if this is a good, I'm just trying to figure out if this is a good way. Let me step back. You know what, let me put the accent tables in the middle to see. Yeah, let's do that. Now, I did tell you guys I'm getting decorative pillows coming too, so. With the rug. All right guys, this is option one. I know it looks kind of bare still because I don't have any decorative pillows to bring out the gold accent tables. I don't have my rug yet to bring out the gold, but this is definitely an option. You see that we still have a lot of space um, around our floors. Still, we still have a bunch of space. However, our couch is almost as wide as this part right here. Um, if it's this way, like I said, we could change it any way we want to, but this is definitely like an option. Only thing about this option is, it's not the most comfortable. Um, so we can't lounge as much, you know, like we can, but we can't because now there's like accent tables in the center. So we can't like lounge as much, but I mean, this is definitely one of the options that I was thinking. Hey guys, I changed it back to the other look and I I don't know, I I don't know. Like I know people are gonna say, remove the center and then push the accent tables back where they went because that's like the more practical, you know, what you call it. And I agree, don't worry, like I do agree with you, but I don't know if Babe's gonna want the couches to look like that. I know he said he loves this way the best because like, Whenever we are in here, like I said, we're just chilling, flopped out, watching TV, like, it feels good. But, now that I got these accent tables, something gotta give. And I'm not seeing the whole vision because I don't have the rug down. Like, that rug matters. Because right now, I still feel like it's empty. Like, the fireplace, I just feel like it's empty. And I don't know if the rug is gonna make a difference because um, it's only a nine by 12. Like it's not that big. It's not that big. I, I may look small on camera, but you guys, the couch is not small, it's big. And this is literally the short way. But if I put it back to where um, it was before, it's almost as long as our like entryway into our kitchen. <sighs> I don't know guys, I don't know. I have until tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to make a decision for sure because our rug comes Friday and I'm gonna mop this whole area, which I already did, but I'm gonna mop it again because I'm crazy. And I have to figure out what way are the couches going? Like which way are they going? Which way? I was looking at these mirrors to put on side of my dad's picture. And originally I showed you guys these ones. Let me show you real quick. Don't mind the crack protective screen guys, don't mind it. But originally I showed you guys these oblong, um, oh, not my battery dying. These oblong mirrors, oblong, whatever they're called. But they're basically like these long oval mirrors. Um, they're black. I was gonna put them on Focus. I was gonna put them on each side of my dad's picture because I said I wanted mirrors to go in that corner because y'all can see like the house is bright. Like when the sun is shining, the house is very bright. But still, I like mirrors, especially because the sun, that room does get a lot of sun. So even when you put the mirrors on the wall, it's gonna feel like it's bigger because the sun is gonna hit it, so. But then I also saw these ones, but I'm not gonna get them because um, they have bad reviews and I don't think that they're long enough. But I wanna show you guys though because that's what I kinda am going for. I saw these on Wayfair and I just love how they look. 
like i love the brick wall too i don't know this reminds me of my kitchen even though i mean this reminds me of my dining room even though i don't have that brick wall mine's is crocodile but like the lighting and stuff it just matches so i that's why i kind of want these because it reminds me of that and i just love how they look now it's a set of three i only need two but uh, they look so good they look really good i like them but you know, people were complaining about how, like, they're thin and short and they're really, really small. Like, the picture looks really big, but in person, they're, like, really small. So, I'm just nervous about that because I don't want it to be too small now. But I think they look so bomb right over there. Like, I just think they'll look so bomb. So I'm debating, I'm debating on these. Dang, I think these will look so good against this wall, especially because it's like crocodile and this. I don't know what type of design this is, but I think it'll look good against the wall. The only thing is, it's not that tall. It's not. All right guys, next day, it's Thursday, it's May 27th. Um, it's about 10.36 in the morning. So I am currently on my way well, I'm actually getting ready to go get my face done. I'm getting a facial today, so I'm already dressed and stuff, and I'm just putting some more toilet paper on my roll in the bathroom. But, um, okay, I had to get my baby hairs together, y'all. <laughs> and I put some chapstick on, but like I said, I'm going to get my um facial done and i'm about to leave because i don't want to be late and i wanted to show you guys the tables because remember i was like trying to figure out what i should do with these like accent tables and i'm gonna show you how i have it right now okay so this is how the tables are looking right now it's so funny because my daughter gave me this idea she was like mom why don't you put the tables on the side and i was like well let me see and i actually love how this looks it gives us space in the middle still so when the rug comes you know we still see our floors it's gonna feel like this space is still open right here um we have the accent tables on the side so I think this one looks, I think this looks so good. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about this before. You guys know yesterday I was like moving the couch all around, putting these two accent tables in, in the front of the couch and then in the middle. Like, I don't know why I was doing all that when I never thought to put them on the side right here. I just love how they look like, I don't know guys. I just love how this looks. I even asked you guys on YouTube, um, in my communities tab, should I put the tables right here or put them in the middle? And a lot of you guys said on the side. So I actually love this look. You guys, it's giving me that modern um, feel that I was going for. And these little drum accent tables are just a nice touch. Like they're so cute. Again, they're from Project 62 at Target. I can't wait till the rug comes. I'm actually nervous though because I'm hoping that the rug is gonna look good or else it's going back, but I don't feel like doing all that, so hopefully it just looks good. And then once we get the curtains on each side, it's just gonna tie the place in together. Ooh, it just looks so good. I'm super excited. It's so funny, I never thought that, but my daughter, she just was like, put them on the side, mom. But I'm about to head out. Um, let's get my bag and coffee. I actually, Got my cold brew coffee from Quick Trip because I knew that I was gonna be on the go today. So I actually got my coffee already with me. So yeah, let's go. This is my outfit for today. It's pretty plain and simple. I just have this Gucci shirt. It has like different flags on it. And then I have my Gucci slides. And then of course these shorts are from Zara. Um, yeah and the bag is from Target, so cute little simple outfit to go run errands in. Of course, I have my shades, so yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so I'm done getting my facial. My baby hairs are messed up because I had that like headband thing around me. Yeah, my face feels so soft. I love when I go to her, my skin just feels so soft and it's all glowy, love it. All right guys, so I'm currently in um, Dunwoody right now and I did not tell you this, but 
I will be doing my first designing, interior designing project. A longtime friend of mine is getting her own salon. She reached out to me and asked me to design her space for her. And she sent me some pictures over on what she wants and stuff. So I'm currently on site of where um, the salon would be. And while I was getting my facial done, she reached out to me and said like, hey, um, if you're able to make it here by a certain time, um, you can walk into the space and measure what you need. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. But yeah, guys, let's go into Target. Yeah, I'm at Super Target. I love this Target. It has everything. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, and um, they always have like good snacks and stuff. Like they have a whole freezer section. <gasps> what better than a Super Target, right? That's the best invention ever, a Super Target, yes. Ooh, these cheese danishes look, I love them. Look how big they are, these look so good. Yum, yum, yum. I don't need none. <laughs> All right, um, so let's go look for some measuring tape. My ears look like an elf because my mask is tight. I don't like Target's candles. They just aren't doing it for me. They never smell like strong, but they do look cute. That's the um, room spray that I have. I have that. Um, let's see, for their home decor, for them to be a super target, the home decor is lacking just a little, you know? These are nice and simple, cute. But it's so um, empty. Those are really cute, those gold baskets, really cute. Oh, the white basket, y'all. I had such a hard time deciding whether I wanted white or black. Oh, these are the kind of chairs I wanted for the um, patio. So cute. I like these trees. I would get these for Christmas time. These are cute. I would put these outside my house during Christmas time. Really cute. Right, guys, I'm measuring the space right now. Let's put you guys down so I can measure it. Oh, okay. Oh, so are they allowed to paint? Or is it just white? Oh, color. inside the. Oh, okay. Good. Can pick their own paint color. Cool. Can I take a video? Because I have a friend who's an esthetician that's uh -huh. moving down here. She's licensed, and yeah. she might be like interested yeah. into like so you know we've got three i think we've got three or four lots on this side oh okay yeah. oh they're all rented still uh, everything is all taken up. oh wow oh. the wind is blowing i got my measurements though sorry if y'all can't hear me because the wind is blowing but oh i'm so excited Oh, it's so hot out here, but um, yeah, I went to the space. I'm sorry if you guys couldn't see it that much. I was trying to measure and I was trying to like talk to um, the director there of the suites. So, and I'm, and I also try and talk to the builder because I wanted to see how high the ceilings were gonna be and the wall space and all that. So, yeah, but I pretty much kind of realized what, you know, the space is gonna be looking like. So that's just, you know the most I can do because they're still under heavy construction but nonetheless I got what I needed to so yeah I'm about to go home start editing this video get some lunch and yeah I'll see y'all when I get okay, there. Okay guys the sun is actually brighter but do you see what I'm saying like do you see the brightness of the sun and uh, don't mind the sticker I have to take that off but <laughs> Uh, I just love this like this is a whole vibe and I'm happy it's turning out like this like the Sun coming through Brightening up the accent tables It just looks so good. Oh, I can't wait till the rest of it comes Ooh. So good you guys so freaking good mm, Love it
Okay guys, so apparently Amazon, uh, they're starting to really get on my nerves. This is why I like to do like a pickup order. I don't know if you guys have like an Amazon store in your city, but we have like a couple of Amazon stores. Not like just a distribution center, but we actually have like a store. And you have an option of, you know, delivering your stuff to the store and it'll be ready within the next day. I should have did that because of course my pillows are my pillows are now being delayed. You see that now expected through the 28th to the 29th. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the pillows that did come. It's the velvet covered pillows, the cream ones. Um, they vacuum sealed the pillow insert so let me get a knife real quick oh. okay so there's instructions inside it is the mule or muley milly muley whatever um pillow insert in pillow throw pillow insert okay fluff the pillow fold the pillow insert in half pull the insert into the okay I mean, they're all right. Let me fuck up the other one. <gasps> so far, Amazon. Okay, you guys get a C. A C from me. Hopefully my other stuff better come. So let's put them in the pillowcases. These are the velvet, they're really cute. These velvet um, pillowcases, they're like in this cream color. They have these beautiful lines on them. I don't know if I could tell, but they have these beautiful lines on the pillowcase and they're like a cream color. They look really, really good. Hey, I think these are 20 by 20. All right guys, this is what the pillows are looking like. They look so white on camera. Let me try to turn on the darkness. But they're not white, like they're really cream. I mean, don't get me wrong, like they are like whitish cream, but they're not like white, white, like my kitchen. I can't wait to get the other pillows because these pillows are just like the side ones, you know what I mean? Like this is not how I'm keeping it. This is not how it's supposed to look. Um, the pillows, that are late are actually supposed to go like in the middle or whatever, like, so yeah, it's kind of thrown off right now, but when I have all the pillows lined up, it'll look really good. And then I do want to get the Hermes uh, blanket. I do want to get that. I do want to get it to drape right here, just so that this won't look so empty. Um, you want the pillows lined up. But yeah, guys, um, I guess we gotta stay tuned for my next delivery. Hey guys, today is Friday. It is May 28th. So happy Friday, you guys. It is about 5.04. I know it's kinda late, but um, I ended up going out to brunch. Brunch um, with the family because, like I said, the girls graduated, you know, fifth grade. So we just wanted to come and get something to eat, get some nice brunch, and now we're home. All right, so let me just rant to you guys real quick and explain the situation. So remember I ordered a rug, right? I don't know if you guys remember, but I ended up ordering a rug from Amazon and I showed you, did I show you guys the rug? I can't remember if I showed you guys the rug or not, but I ended up ordering a rug off Amazon and I ordered it on Tuesday, right? I ordered it on Tuesday. And when I ordered the rug, it allowed me to pick my date and my time. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't know, hold on, someone's calling me. Personal experience with Amazon, I never got a chance to like actually pick out my scheduled time and my date. That just never happened to me, but they allowed me to do that. So I was like, okay, cool. I picked for delivery on Friday, which is today, May 28th. And then I picked the time between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. So I was like, oh, that's cool, whatever. Like, it'll be here. What time is it, 5 or 4? Okay, no rug. 
Y'all, I was on the phone with logistics. I was on the phone with the supervisor. I was just like, if y'all didn't, if y'all can't commit to deliveries, just say that. Just say it. Don't have me pick a time and date making me feel like I'm in charge when I'm really not. On top of that, when I called them, they were like, oh yeah, we won't have delivery of this item until next week, next Friday. No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no. There's no reason, there's no reason why my package should be a whole week late. That's not my fault. So, after talking to a bunch of people and getting transferred around in a partial uh, refund, they scheduled the delivery for Sunday. I'm telling all this just in case um, my rug comes and I'm not able to show you guys because you guys know my vlog goes up on Sundays. So if my rug is not delivered in time, the vlog goes up and I start editing, then you guys might not see the rug until my daily vlog. So I do apologize about that, but Amazon just be playing, they be playing. But um, I did post on my uh, YouTube page about a buffet cabinet so let me turn you guys around and we're gonna go in the dining room in a second so you guys can see all right guys we're in the dining room and as y'all can see i already have my measuring tape out <laughs> i was measuring this buffet table this buffet table is the best uh, storage cabinet with doors it is the glass doors um it's the black brown one so it is i don't know if you guys can tell but it is kind of brown it's not like true true black but you guys look how amazing that looks our dining room table is like a black brown so that will match with this so it's fine if this is um black brown because they don't have like a just straight up black one but um do you see this like i just think that looks so nice and sophisticated especially with the lights like this is exactly what i was looking for i want something just like this and yes i'm going to decorate it just like this like i want to buy a whole bunch of um, dinnerware so that I can place it inside the buffet cabinet and the lights, the decor, the books, everything. If I get this Besta unit, I'm sorry, it keeps going in and out. If I get this Besta unit with the glass doors, right, I'm probably not going to get, hold on, let it focus. I'm probably not going to get uh, mirrors. I'll probably get sconce lights instead because I think that this glass door effect will kind of serve as a mirror. I know it's not the same, but the concept of it being glass, it being like see-through. I know I'm in a mirror, it's like a reflection, it's not like see-through, but if you guys can kind of understand what I'm, I mean, like I think this cabinet piece, I won't no longer need two mirrors. I can get sconce lights instead, you know what I mean? With the home decor, on top of the shelving unit. That way, like the sconce lights will be, you know, taken up on both sides. I'll have a frame around my dad's picture, and then I'll have the cabinet. Now, the good thing about this cabinet is, let me show you guys, besides that it looks good. Look at the dimensions. Like these measurements are exactly what I was looking for. The reason why I have the measuring tape going this way, because this is how far the actual cabinet will come out. So this is how much space it'll be, you know? This is how the space it'll be in walking. You know, you still have room to go behind the chairs. You still have room to come back here. Even if you like slide your chair out, you still have some room. Cause that's what I was like trying to figure out. Like if someone sits right here and they back out, how much space will they have? But this is only about what this, this unit is only about 16, right? 16 and a half inches in depth. So, or like, yeah, like in depth it, coming out, it doesn't come out that far. And then it is 70 inches and seven eighths long, which is not a problem because let me show you guys real quick. Show you guys 70 inches. I know, it's, I know it seems like a little crazy, but measuring is so important. Like, man, I measure everything. So, 70 and 7 eighths. It's right here. It's almost 71, actually. But, so 70 and 7 eighths is almost 71. 
and I'm gonna put it like right here and show you guys. So this is how long the cabinet would actually be, which you guys can see, I have room to be right here. Like, there's room for my entire body to go in between like the wall and the cabinet on both sides, even on this side too. On this side, same thing. So my thing is, I could put a plant here or I could just leave it. Not saying I would put a plant there, but I'm just thinking of space. Like I have space to come here, I have space to come there. And yeah, again, my dad's picture's not centered. I have to move it over this way a little bit. But yeah, that's a perfect size. Like it's perfect. In terms of height, it is about 29. I don't know if you guys can see, sorry for my cracked phone. But I don't know if you guys can see that. It is 29 and 1 8 high. 29 inches high is that, that's how tall it would come and that is how much space you'll have between my dad's picture. I think the short one would be great only because once I, the shelving unit only stops right there, but I'll have like a vase, I'll have books, I'll have flowers, I'll have all this stuff on top of it with the sconce light, like meeting kind of, cause I'll get a bigger sconce light for this space. I'll get two big sconce lights. So it'll meet with the home decor on top of the shelf, which stops right there. So the shorter one is what I'm going with. All those who voted for the short one, you guys are right, I'm going with the short one because that just makes better sense to me, like that height makes better sense to me. Even with the home decor, like I'll have room and stuff. So like I said, and I don't know if I told you guys, but our ceilings in here are 12 feet. And then all throughout here, let me show you guys. All throughout here is about 19, 20 feet. So all through here is about 19, 20 feet. And then upstairs in the bedrooms, it's about nine feet or 10 feet tall. Someone said put like a mirror over here. I'm still debating, but even if I do, it's gonna be like a circle mirror, like an oval one, um, like one of those big like black brass ones. That's what I would do. I wouldn't really get anything else over there. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm excited. This little space is small, but it's gonna look so glamorous. And I, like I said, getting rid of Macy's high chair because she doesn't really like use it like that, to be honest with you. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. All right, guys, so my package arrived from Amazon because I showed you guys that I ordered these two pillows right here, these um, decorative pillows. I showed you guys that I ordered them. I got these two pillows delivered. They were supposed to be with these pillows, but they didn't come yesterday, so they came today. I'm telling you guys, all my packages have been messed up, but um, these pillows right there are like a whitish cream color. They're actually cream, the website says cream. And then these are the black ones. So let me show you guys what the actual pillow covers look like. This is what the actual pillow cover looks like. It's really, really pretty. It has like a faux leather and the white cream which matches the um, cream pillows over there and then it has a black which matches the couch because I didn't want to go with like a straight black um, pillow. I wanted something that complements our living space over here. And you guys know this living room, living room is pretty much like neutral colors, like it's black, like tan, like you know, like a nudish, and then it's like white kind of. So yeah, these are the colors. And then these are, dang, my pants are dirty from that box. That's why I hate wearing white. But these are the two pillow covers. It looks like the white ones over there kind of poofed out. You see how like big they are now? Is it all the way in? Looks like it. Looks like it. Let me make sure it's all the way to the corner. Yeah, it's all the way in. Zip it up. Mm -mm -mm. So this is what it looks like. It is so freaking cute, y'all. It is chalk approved, I don't know if y'all see that, but 
It looks really good. Don't mind the other Amazon box. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure all my packages got here just in case they needed proof for something or whatever. But yeah, y'all, look at it. It is such a beautiful pillow. I will have this link below for sure. It just looks so good. Like, it looks so freaking good. It's exactly the style I was looking for. Right, by the time this video goes up, it'll be Sunday. So technically, it won't be Memorial Day yet. So let me know, are y'all cooking out? Are y'all traveling? What are y'all doing? Y'all, I don't know how it was when y'all was growing up, but when we was growing up, Memorial Day is just another holiday for us to see our cousins. <laughs> we used to have like cookouts, go to barbecues, and then ain't nothing like being a kid, dipping your hand in the cooler of ice, looking for a drink, searching for a little juicy. Ugh. Today's kids will never know y'all. They'll never know, but it was, so much fun back in that day. So this is the second one. Oh, I'm just in love with these pillows. And I'm finding that 18 and 20 are like the best sizes to get in pillows. I can go with a bigger size too, like a 24, but 18, 20 are like really good. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's Saturday, May 29th, I believe. I was showing you guys me putting the pillows together yesterday. I ended up like relaxing and then falling asleep. So I'm gonna show you guys today what they look like because I'm just so excited about them. Oh, hold on, y'all. Let me turn y'all. Let me turn y'all around. Let me turn y'all around so y'all can see. Okay, these are the pillows. My gosh, they look so freaking good. They look so good, you guys. I'm super excited about them. These two right here, the black ones, were the pillows I was waiting for. I showed you guys yesterday how they look, and I didn't finish showing you how they came out. So here they are. All right, so now that I have the pillows on the couch, I kind of want to get a blanket and the blanket that I'm thinking about, I know it's kind of cliche, but I want the Hermes blanket. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about, but I don't know which color. Let me show you really quickly. This is just like a random website that the blanket is on, but the throw blanket, this is kind of like the color I was going for, or I didn't know if I should get like something lighter. Um, but yeah, basically something like this. Well, that's blue, but you know what I mean? Something like this, which is like the black one. So yeah, I'm thinking of something like that to go with the pillows, just to lay like right here because this space is still kind of like empty. So I kind of want to put like a throw blanket right here and then that'll be it for the couch. As far as the accent tables right here and right here, I have some stuff that came in from Amazon. So we're gonna open that now. Excited. This is the vase or vase, the ceramic one. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's not super white. Like you can see, it's not super white, but it's really cute. Oh, so cute, I cannot wait. So this is one of the vases that I ordered or vase, whatever. Okay, so the first thing in here is those eucalyptus leaves. They're faux eucalyptus leaves that I showed you guys. They look like this. It's five stems, and this is what they look like, just regular eucalyptus leaves. They're faux. Like I said, I just want some greenery. Y'all know, just a little bit of greenery. Okay, so this is the other ceramic um, vase that I got. And like I said, it's not really white. It's like an off-white grayish, but really cute. It has like a little funky um, shape to it. This is the other one. It's kind of like long and funky shape, but like I said, I wanted these type of vase or vase. I wanted these two, because I think that just looks so good together. Again, this was a two pack for like $29.99, I believe. So yeah, really, really cute. And I have this third one, so I'm just loving all these. I'm super, super excited. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna style them. What the? This was a huge waste of box. That's crazy. Big old box just for that. Uh-uh, they know they were wrong. But, but these are my pompous grass. You guys saw that I wanted something really fluffy and um, big. 
and it says 50 pieces of them so yeah i think i'm just gonna put them i gotta cut them but i think i'm just gonna put them in this one just like this because i think that that'll look cute in this one so that's what i'm gonna do and then but yeah something like this something something like this i don't know i'm not gonna actually set up the um home decor for the tables yet um the accent table decor because i have to move everything out the way once the rug comes babe and i have to like move the couches out the way and figure out how to like snap them together and i have to like move the couches um back in the room and then mop but i mean that's the thing with you know home decor y'all it's especially if you have a certain vision and you have to take your time and you know what you want your house to look like sometimes you gotta go through trial and error ordering stuff taking it back or canceling stuff and like changing your mind it's just like oof it's a stressful stressful journey but it's a fun journey so for all those who brought a house and for all those moving in all those who got an apartment be prepared don't say i didn't warn you okay so yeah y'all i need to go to the grocery store though because i am craving some vignettes and i want to make some so i'm about to go to the grocery store all right y'all made the vignettes they came out really good we ate most of them they came out really really good all i used was um this right here the dough crust so kind of like just a sheet of dough that's already like pre-made and then you just need some like regular sugar, some oil to fry it in, and then some confetti sugar. But that's it, y'all. They came out really, really, really good. All right, y'all. I am about to close off the vlog. I got to clean up this mess I just made. And I told y'all my forehead be shining. I told y'all it's just natural. Just be shining. But I'm about to clean up my mess. And then I'm about to relax, watch me a movie because I really want to watch a movie tonight. And yeah, stay tuned for the final, final finale of our living room because the rug has to come. My book is still coming. So just stay tuned. That should be up on my daily vlog come Wednesday. So just make sure you're tuning in. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog with the chill weekend with me and home decor and all that. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.